Hello, I'm Tom, pastor of Ferguson United Methodist Church, the one in Pennsylvania, not in Texas. If you're looking for Texas, keep looking. If you're looking for Virginia, keep looking. If you're looking for the devotion, the second week of our devotions, uh, and our devotions, uh, the candle will light, is the candle of expectation. We're going to talk about expectation. I'm going to talk a little bit about the birth of Jesus. And we're talking about Mary and the conceiving, the expectation. You know, when you're, when a woman is pregnant, she's expecting. We're going to talk about expectation. So I'm going to read from Luke 1, uh, portions from verses 26 through 38, and I'll talk about a little more than that. So we're reading from Luke 1. 26, and I'll come in halfway. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of, J of David. And that's important, and, and everyone knows it. These people, uh, the Jews are steeped in this culture. They know what all these things mean. They know that God has a plan, that they're, they're in it. And it hinges on things that are of them, but it's not their plan. It's God's plan, and they're, it's like God's playing chess. They're pieces of the puzzle. It's God's move. It's God's plans. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. If you could imagine an angel, and I don't know if they just pop in the room or walk up to you and say something, and Mary's like, highly favored? I'm a, I'm a poor woman. I'm not, how am I highly favored? What are you talking about? The angel went on to explain to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. The name Jesus, which is Joshua, which is Yeshua, God's salvation. It actually means if we were to interpret the name, and we do look at names. When we name babies, we find names that we like the sound of and we like the meaning of. I named my girls things that meant something. <clears throat> You are to call him God's salvation. An angel tells her this. What? The story is so crazy. It's so beautiful. It's so mysterious and magical. <clears throat> the reason we get so wild about Christmas is this story. It's the best story there ever was. <clears throat> so she talks, <clears throat> the angel tells a little more. He'll be called He'll be great and be called son of the most high. That means something to Mary. His kingdom will never end. That's the Messiah. Mar Mary understands what all this means. It's part of her whole world, but it's this inv invisible, mysterious world that's God's plan for the Jewish people. And it doesn't seem like God's plan can come true. And could it be? Could it be happening? Well, Mary questions, how can this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin, your plans don't make sense, even if you're an angel. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. This is big. This is overwhelming. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her own old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. What does Mary think? That's Abraham and Sarah. That it happened before. God's word doesn't fail. And she's like, this is too much. It's too much. Now the Bible gives us small glimpses into this scene. and you, But you could imagine how this just rocks Mary's world. It's not normal every day. How could this be? 
favored. Mary says her amen. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your words to me be fulfilled. May your word to me be fulfilled is amen. Let it be, so be it. As you say, let it be done. May your word to me be fulfilled. So I have a, just a couple notes. Mary will go on to meet Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, uh, who is expecting, it's expectation, she's expecting, is in her sixth month. And uh, baby John the Baptist leaps in the womb. And I don't know the feeling of a life just hitting uh, the inside of the womb. A woman has a baby and I've felt kicks. But from the outside, I don't know what the inside miracle is that, that Mary and Elizabeth and all women carry a miracle. It's part of this beauty of God's creative power. <clears throat> Mary confirms and blesses, or Elizabeth confirms and blesses Mary. And then Mary worships and she's caught up. Worship is a catching up. And we practice it. And sometimes we're just caught up. And it happens all the time. And all the waiting and trusting is part of what Mary now experiences. And it's been waiting for so long. And God's plans, they are long. They aren't our plans. We would be, let, let's get it done. We have a, a timetable we're working on. That's because we're going to die. All the power that we have is wrapped in death. God doesn't worry about death. He has the power of life. And the power of life goes for generations. God's plan is in place. I'll conclude with just this thought that, that faith, our walk in faith, is a walk of expectation. Faith expects things to happen. But it's also a waiting. We're waiting because God's plan is what we're hoping for. Mary gives birth to Jesus and continues this, in this expectation, and it's always surprising. It always, she always is treasuring things in her heart because it's too much. It's still, how can this be? How can I be part of your plan? And Mary is caught up and at times is worshiping and saying, God, I don't understand what you're doing but that you would invite me in. It's too much, and God's doing it to you. And to me, he's inviting us in, and we walk with expectation. I just want to read one little line, or the opening of Mary, Did You Know? Just this idea, and we continue to write songs just to say, what a marvelous thing you have done. God, what a marvelous thing that you take humans and lift us up to this place where we can be part of your plan. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? No, she did not. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? The Messiah? She doesn't understand what that even means. She doesn't have to. Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. <clears throat> so Jesus continues to do things. God continues to do things that a child Mary delivers, delivers her. Everything that we say turns out completely different and in God's control. We are to walk expectantly. We are to walk in faith. But don't worry that you're the key to God's plan. Expect that God has it worked out and you're going to be caught up. The, whole, the Spirit is going to overshadow you. We are caught up in God's plan and it's working now. It always works for generations as God continues to bring expectation into the world. God bless you today and in this Advent season.